Hi everyone, welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. Today I'm going to talk about the 12 days of Knitmas. Now I started filming all of this a couple weeks ago and I was um, doing things getting prepared for it and I've even got my husband to edit four videos which are ready to go. However, we women sometimes change our minds. In the middle of doing this I had another idea and so um, this is just an introduction to what the 12 days of Knitmas is going to be. And I have a video that goes along with this, which I'm going to put on after this. And that's going to be my introduction to the 12 Days of Knitmas. I wasn't going to do the 12 Days of Knitmas, but it became the 12 Days of Knitmas. Anyway, each day for the 12 Days of Knitmas, I'm going to talk about a pattern, a stitch pattern, that I think will be great to use for making scarves, stoles, shawls. Um, the last thing I was thinking, it might be really good. Some, some of these, if you have a little bit more time, can knit a little bit faster. It might even make an afghan, a little lapkin, or a smaller afghan. If you have time to knit that for somebody, some of these patterns are really would be, look really good in, as an afghan. So, um, anyway, uh, I will be explaining that in the video after this a little bit more about how you can adapt it. And then, I'm, I'm going to be releasing 12 videos. Um... I'm not exactly sure about which day I'm going to do it, so if you want, if you're interested in this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, press the like button, and get get the notifications turned on so that whenever I release something, you'll you'll know. And um, also, as a treat, I don't think it's a treat, but I'm going to sing a song at the beginning of each one of these videos. And I am not a singer, so just be warned. It's only a very short part, so we'll get that through. That's my little, you know, stepping outside my comfort zone type of thing. Anyway, I hope you guys will enjoy this series a lot. If you do, if you are enjoying it, if you're watching them now um, and you like them, please give them a thumbs up. Please put some comments below. Let me know um, more of what type of videos you'd like to see. If you'd like to see more stitch pattern videos, let me know. If you'd like to see more projects that I'm working on please let me know that as well I do have on a Christmas sweater in tribute for this this is by Humbug and little snowflakes anyway getting ready for Christmas over here if you're going to be knitting for Christmas you need to start your thinking about your Christmas knitting and getting it going um so just wanted to give a little introduction to the other video and then you will see those uh, 12 days of knitmas videos coming thank you so much for watching hope you have a lovely day Okay, here we go. This is going to be bad. <clears throat> On the first day of knit, my knitting turnpike showed me how to knit the texture stitch. On the second day of knit, my knitting turnpike showed me knotted open work lace and how to knit the textured stitch. On the third day of knit, my knitting turnpike showed me double eyelet rib, knotted open work lace, and how to knit the textured stitch. Today I'm going to be showing you another pattern stitch for my Christmas knitting series. This is called the double eyelet rib stitch. I am knitting it with a little bit larger needle than is required for my yarn, so this is a little bit more lacy, but I still love the look of it. I think I went up one size. Um, instead of a size 6, I'm using a size 7. Anyway, I love the look of this, um, and I think it would make a really great cowl, a really great stole, or a great scarf. Any, any of the three that I had suggested. Um, this pattern is... Um, you need a multiple of seven stitches plus two. I have cast on 30 stitches, so to do you know any of the others, you would just um, do a multiple of seven and then add two to get the right amount of stitches for the pattern. 
Here we are. I'm going to show you how to do this. This is the right side. I put a little marker here to show me that. Plus, you can also see this is where the um, where I cast on is right here on the edge. Okay, so the first row that you're going to do is you're going to purl two stitches. Then you're going to start this, the part that repeats. You're going to knit five. One, two, three, four, five, and then purl two. And then you're going to repeat that part until you get to the end. So knit five, one, two, three, four, five, pro two. Get a little bit more yarn here. Ooh. Let me just pull that out of the bag here. Give me one second. Okay. Okay. Back to knit five. Purl two. Knit five. Purl two. Okay, that's row one. Now we're to row two. Turn it over. Um, this is what the back side looks like. You can see the ribs there. Um, all right, for row two, excuse me, I didn't mean to bump my count camera there. You're going to knit two first. Then you're gonna start the part that repeats, which is purl five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to knit two. So you're going to repeat the purl five, knit two, until you get to the end. Which for me, this is four repeats because I I did seven times four plus two. If you like this video, if you like this series of videos, please give this a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, whoops, please don't hesitate to put them below. I love answering your questions. I love getting comments from you guys. And if you um, have any other patterns you'd like to see or have any other stitches you have questions about or trying to adapt this pattern to making something like a cowl or a stole, give me a comment below. I would love to, you know, work with you on this, help you achieve your goals for your Christmas knitting this year. Knit two. Okay, that's row two. Now we're to row three. Row three, you're gonna do You're going to purl two. Then you start the part that repeats to the end, which is going to be, it's a little bit different. Knit two together, purl two, because you knit two together, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, 
slip the first stitch as if to knit, knit the next stitch, pass the slip stitch over. If you're having trouble with this stitch, I have a video that shows you how to do this stitch. I'll put a link above. And after you do that, you purl two. So you're gonna repeat that whole section starting from the knit two together. Knit two together until you get to the end. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, slip one stitch, knit the next stitch, pass the slip stitch over, purl two. Okay, repeat again, knit two together, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, slip, knit, pass the slip stitch over. By the time you've done this over and over, you will remember this. So it's a, it, this is an easy pattern to remember. This is the hardest row in the whole pattern. But if you do this over and over again, you will memorize it and you won't have to carry your pattern along with you. So I feel like it's a pretty easy pattern to do. And that was my goal in picking these, was to try to pick, sorry, I kind of split my yarn there. Give me one second. I wanted to pick patterns that um, would be easy to do so you wouldn't have to carry your... Um, you know, carry a pattern with you, or if you're somewhere and you just want to pick this up, you can see exactly where you are in it, and just keep on going. Just make this simple. Alright, that's purl two, that's row three. Alright, we're almost done. Now we're to row four. On row four, it's the instructions are to repeat row two. So on row two, we started out with a knit two, and now we start the, the part where we repeat. We purl five. One, two, whoops, three, four, five, and then we knit two. And we do that to the end. Purl five, knit two to the end. I really do like this, this pattern I liked knitting it with a little bit larger needle because it opened up those eyelets a little bit more. I think it looks really pretty. Like I said, I think it would make a really pretty cow, really pretty stole. If you guys need help adapting this number of stitches to that or any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. I think I've said that. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I am having a giveaway until I get to 1,000 members. I'm going to do a giveaway every month. I'll put a link to that video right here so you can um, find out more details about that. And we are to the Pearl 5 Knit 2. I think we've got one more and then we'll be done. Again, this pattern's really... That one row is a little complicated, but it's not. It's You'll get the rhythm and... It just turns out to be such a pretty design. I think it's a pretty design. I mean, I do love this color, but I don't think it's the color. I like the design, too. Let me pull this up here so we can not lose any stitches. But I think that looks really pretty. Let me know what you think. Do you guys like this design? Is it, Would this be something that you would make as a Christmas gift? And if so, what would you make? Would you make a scarf? Would you make a cow? Would you make a stole? Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have a lovely day that's full of knitting.